Hi everybody, Tony Sparrow here again. Um, broadcasting from the Warren's Occult Museum. And I do have something interesting to show you. These are fertility dolls from Africa. These dolls were sent uh, here to the United States. What happened was this. A police officer here in Connecticut knew someone who was familiar with the witch doctor out in Africa, had this person steal these fertility dolls from the witch doctor. And after he stole them, he sent them back to the police officer in Connecticut, and they figured they could sell them and make money on these objects. Well, here's what happened. This gentleman, or whoever it was, did steal these dolls from the witch doctor in Africa, sent him to Bridgeport, Connecticut. That's where the police officer was. And the police officer received them. Within two weeks of this young police officer receiving these dolls, he became very, very ill. In fact, he was paralyzed from the neck down. Doctors didn't know what was wrong. They couldn't really give him a good diagnosis. He stayed paralyzed for approximately two years and then unfortunately passed away. And when I asked Ed about it, Ed said, well, look, you shouldn't steal things from witch doctors. He's right, because, you know, they put a curse on whoever stole these and whoever was going to possess these. Uh, magic and uh, black magic and incantations from witches, from witch, uh, witch doctors, uh, are real. Remember that. Just because it sounds like a fairy tale doesn't mean it is. It's very real. Curses are real, and that was a curse put on this gentleman who received them. And I'll go up close on some of these items here. Right there is a shrunken head, and then these other artifacts here. These are all uh, artifacts taken from that witch doctor in Africa. And here they I'll give you close-ups as close as I can get to these items without, of course, touching them because I don't like to touch any of these objects. And there they are. And as Ed said, he never used to dust them or anything uh, when Ed was with us. He said he just used to stay away from them as long as he could, not not really engage them at all. And that's the, that's the best practices. Don't engage these things, ladies and gentlemen. Don't dabble in occult practices. Uh, don't go to psychics and get a reading. I know it sounds crazy. You think oh, nothing's going to happen happen to me if I go to a reading. But yes, if you go to a psychic reader, even though they may have psychic ability, you don't know if they know how to protect themselves properly. And without protection, when a psychic tunes in to the other realm, they can bring in things that are untoward, things that are evil things that aren't of this world, and you wouldn't know it, and they, might not, they may not know it either, and bring in something that can attach itself, something evil or demonic. So you don't want to mess with going to psychics, getting readings, uh, dabbling in occult practices, uh, using a Ouija board, none of those things. Learning about items, yes, that's okay, like I'm giving you information. That's different than summoning evil or challenging evil, or asking questions of the unknown realm and trying to get an answer. Because anytime you ask a question of the unknown realm and you get an answer, you know, usually people who give you a favor want a favor in return. And sometimes that favor is not so nice. So that's the fertility dolls from Africa in the occult museum. Thank you.